Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, there's a lot of talk about the SSD drives that disappear and that might have problems um, with the latest update to Windows 11. And uh, more and more manufacturers, not just Microsoft, but even um, some have speculated that Fizzin, um which makes the controllers for SSDs could be the one that the affected one. So all the SSD drives that use that controller um, and all of these companies, SSD drive companies, um, Fizzin with its controllers, uh, Microsoft, they're all coming out with, nope, no Windows update is not causing the issue. And they have been doing a lot of testing. And uh, Fizzin says they've actually done 4,500 hours of testing of all the scenarios that mentioned of different drives. And nope, nothing ever happened to the drives. Um, and it's interesting because you look at the reports. So yeah, I see it here, for example, in the, um, the comments section. A lot of people are mentioning things that are not actually what we talk about here. Um, saying that after the update there was a problem. Well, it's very hard to to look at that data clearly. Honestly, I've been looking at is there a something that someone mentions that everybody mentions is exactly the same, and, and it's not. And um, contrary to a lot of people, um, I I do not see any problem with you know the reporting from Microsoft of uh of you know they don't find the issue they don't find the issue they don't find the issue they say it that's it um every time there is a problem they don't deny a problem they will investigate and if they do find it they do find it so you know that's not i don't go there um and i i have the impression that something might happen sometimes and someone jumped on it and then some people said oh well i've got problems too um, one of the um, hypotheses right now is that there are literally, you know, hundreds of millions of SSD drives out there. And that even if, you know, one tenth of one percent of them would fail after an update, if all of these people start talking about the problem, um, they, of course, will create the problem. As for videos online that show this, I don't go there for that because, um, you know, it's easy to um, take a SSD drive that you know might have problems and create problems in certain circumstances. The other thing I was thinking is the majority of users are uh, in the northern hemisphere and uh, it's summer, it's hot. Could it simply be that SSD drives are overheating in some cases where people are using the computer in a hot environment? So, of course, when you start writing gigabytes of data, the controller might actually become hotter and suddenly the drive disappears. Um, it's hard to say. And here I'm not defending anyone. I'm just looking at facts without having any bias on it. It doesn't seem like the Windows update is causing any problems. So, we'll see. I know a lot of comments in the, in the uh, chat about, well, my... My computer goes into safe mode now after the update. Well, I think you've had some other problem. And I don't think it's related to this. But we'll continue examining because, I mean, it is uh, it has gone in, in way out of proportion, I think. And I think it also means that we, we might need to continue looking at the facts and see what happens next uh, with these drives. Um, and... Everybody agrees on one thing. It's an extremely small amount of people that complain about the exact same problem of a disappearing SSD. So it might simply be a problem that's been there forever that for some reason somebody started talking about it and people jumped on the conclusion of an update doing that. So anyways, we'll see. Uh, I uh, will continue watching any articles, any uh, blog posts from any companies that come out with, you know, 
details saying, well, okay, I found why or not, or because, but nobody is finding any reason right now. No one. And that's not just Microsoft. It's the SSD drive makers. It's everybody. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.